All right. Go ahead, brother. What's going I'm on? Dave, Diane Franks from Real Gym. We keep putting New Jersey. We got Andre Skiba from Skiba's Gym in Carteret, New Jersey. We're coming at you. Zoom, baby, Zoom. <laughs> All right. First of all, Donnie, it's so good to see you. You look great, man. And it's so nice that um, you know, we're able to do this and get some word out to people because we have a lot to say. And people look towards us to find out information and as far as what, you know, as far as we could do with training and, and keeping ourselves healthy. So, Don, you had a couple of things you mentioned before, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Yeah, you know, um, you know, we're all going through this uh, coronavirus thing, and it's really impacted the whole world. Um, you know, it's changing how, you know, we got to rethink our new approach, you know, what's going to be the new normal, how we're going to do things in the future, you know what I mean? And being non-essential business, you know, and, and you know, I get all of that. But, uh, you know, it's just the world is uh, in for, uh, you know, a, a rude awakening, man. It's, it's, it's going to be a new normal. And uh, just trying to figure it out and navigate through this new world. You know what I mean? How we're going to move forward in this industry. You know what I mean? It's so dependent upon people being in our establishments. Now we got to deal with people all, you know, the, eye, uh, the internet. See, what's, what, what's so amazing, I think never in our time we ever imagined this. It's like we never imagined something like 9-11. And I know it's going to make us move forward, but I know certain things are going to come out of it that at least it forces us to um, attack and use another medium to reach out to people. And you and I never have a problem getting out there talking. So, I mean, I think it's going to be for as far as us with using this medium, it, it's a good thing that we can learn and perfect it a lot better than some other people. No, I, I get that. And, uh, you know, it's just adapting. You have to adapt to survive. You know what I mean? Right. Dinosaurs ain't here no more for a reason. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the alligator that's on your, uh, on your. Oh, dinosaur! Oh, right? It is a dinosaur, but yeah, I'm but it adapted. It adapted. That's why it's still here. You know. Uh, yes, you're right, my brother. Yeah, you got to listen. I, I, I heard because you still, um, you still do any different things as far as like you know, uh, informational broadcast to your people, right? Yeah, I, I've been doing. Uh, uh, um, uh, podcast and zoom uh um live training with my kids so you know i have kids uh -huh. they get online we'll do a class i have um a, a couple of uh, classes that i do for adult classes that i continued um doing online training so you know that's been uh, it keeps me pretty busy and then you know i've just been reaching out to a, a couple of independent gyms you know you know just uh going back and forth with information trying to and also getting my uh social media you know my um my uh, apparel market up on the web and on the net, trying to move products that way, get the YouTube popping. A lot of, you know, I got a couple of things in that. In what that. I really want to see, let me tell you something, as you demonstrate right now, that is one badass looking shirt. I mean, you're sure I, I, you're doing that kind of stuff too, aren't you, Donnie? Or? Yeah, we're launching a power line, uh, power lifting apparel. So I have singlets coming out, classic Great. style, um, new minor style with the logo. So the, uh, the the new logo has, you know, it says uh, powerlifting and power underneath the real gym. So you'll be able to get your singlets, your sleeves, your own wraps. We're doing all of that. You know what I mean? Everything. Right, I, that's brilliant. That's very, very good. That's excellent, man. You know, uh, I'm really happy with that. That's I'm trying I'm trying to think what other because I mean, like pe people are looking for that kind of stuff, and uh, I'm actually I have a guy that's fabric. Well, you know, Chris Simon that's fabricating, so he's doing some stuff for me with that. So I'm trying to get some other stuff built with that. But um, let's talk a little bit about maybe possibly um, uh, any simple things you could tell your people out there as far as like uh, makeshift kind of training or. or uh, yeah. Uh, one thing, I, you know, you, you have to do unconventional training. So you can right. pick up different apparatus, you know, um, water bottles, um, any type of um, um, apparatus weight, um, you know, from um, uh, cans out of uh, the pantry to filling um, sand in uh, a gallon jug, you know. Bingo. Right, different, any type of object that you can use weighted, you can do swings with, presses with, you know, you can mimic um, dumbbells with, mimic kettlebells with. There's a lot of different, you know, tools that you can utilize, ropes, um, homemade rings out of um, a PVC pipe, all of those things. You can actually get tubes, a PVC filled with um, uh, sand or cement. And you have weight bar. Um, you do uh, those kind of, those kind of tools, and they just give you a different kind of uh, strength too, because it is uh, a lot of that stuff isn't as stable as like barbells, so it's going to work your stabilizer muscles so much more. 
Right. I call it um, real world war because it's, you know. Oh, listen to this, man. This guy's branding on everything, man. Real world haircuts. I don't know, man. <laughs> but, you know, one of the things I like that I always, I always push real hard is I really believe I do a lot of things with chain training, whether you're, you use a conventional thing like Westside does and hang chains from a bar. We also um, intermix using chains instead of ropes. And what we find out with stuff like that is because anybody can get chain. And with chain, it builds your grip strength, uh, your core strength, and, of course, your cardio strength. So that's another thing that I really emphasize. Yeah, you're saying so like undulation is a motherfucker, let me tell you, boy. I like that undulation. I like that. That's good shit. Yeah. That's good shit. You're the word man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it, but one thing about uh, this, this virus, um, you know, my own hometown, it's like over 300 plus cases there. And it's like uh, about 10 of my friends were impacted. You know what I mean? A lot of them lost their lives already. And it's very sad. I got a good friend now who's on a ventilator. And he's, um, I mean, he's in his mid 40s, maybe later 40s, um, healthy young guy. But, you know, externally, we all look healthy. But the black right. community, I think, were impacted because of, you know, the healthcare system, um, you know, how we eat, what we eat, you know, it's, 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 it's really shining a light on, you know, things that we got to uh, take control over and change. You know, I changed my diet many, many years ago, and now I think that that saved my life now. You know what I mean? It's saving my life, keeping me healthy, because, you know, there was a point in my life where I didn't have fried foods for over 10 years. I didn't have any sugar for over 10 years. No soda, no chocolate, no candy. Yeah, I was very strict, you know, at one point in my life because I wanted – to uh, stimulate a certain type of thing. You know, I would always do a lot of research. And, uh, you know, I, I went away from a lot of things for a long time. And I reintroduced certain whole foods back into my diet. Well, now, Dad, look, at you, look at you even right now. You're what? You're close to 50 now? 51. I'm 51. I mean, you don't look like no 51-year-old guy. I mean, that's because when you stick to the stuff, you stay in shape, you exercise every day. You work from, I mean, you honestly put in a real day where you work early in the morning to late at night. So, I mean, like you're putting your body in great shape. And so, ever since I lost the weight, too, I feel so much better. It's amazing. So, I mean, I hate to be with you because, you know, a few years ago, man, I was a little nervous. I'm going to tell you up front. But when you went through your surgery and all of that, yeah. I was like, damn, you know, I, I really felt bad because, you know, you, you that's not you. You know, you're a strong oh. guy. And then now to see where you're at now, moving the loads that you're moving. And that's uh, kudos to a powerlifting foundation, you know what I mean? Or weightlifting foundation. If you do it the right way, you can do it for the rest of your life. And that's well, what Donnie, I'm going to tell you something. We have to, you and I have to do some kind of like seminar or camp where we have the combination of bodybuilding and powerlifting put together. Because right. you do a lot of stuff and your gym has, I mean, I'm strictly power. You know that the way my gym is, right? But you have all the bodybuilding apparatus, every, everything. I mean, they always talk about some certain gyms in, in New Jersey. Yours is, is such an uh, incredible find for some people. If they would go to your place and see, like, you have two or three pieces of the same thing, all different kinds of equipment. I mean, I go there, and I just can't believe what you got. And I mean, like, you have three floors. That's why I'm saying that when we run that powerlifting contest, it would just behoove us to do, you know, to do it out of your place if we ever get that together. Yeah, so we're definitely great. doing that. But yeah, we're moving forward that way. And I appreciate, you know, um, you know all the compliments. And I always wanted to create an environment where you could do everything. Right. You know? And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know it. And I kind of, you know, being that I was from the entertainment industry and I dealt with all the celebs and all of that hoopla, I kind of drew myself back. I wanted to be reclusive. I wanted to become the back cave. I wanted to be a place where if you found me, you belong to me. I didn't want to throw out an over-marketing net, you know, and try and get every dick and Harry. It wasn't about money with me at this point in my life. I wanted people that truly would understand and, and contribute to the environment here. So you just don't want anybody, you know, belonging to that type of gym. And, you know, and that's the environments that I grew up in. That's what, you know, you know, back in the old days, that's the way it was. And that's, you know, right. I tried to recreate that. And, I, you know, and, and it, it was a slow process. You don't make a lot of money. A lot of people, you know, don't get it. They have no idea. It's all about, man, it's, it's for me anyway. And, it, and, it's, and you know, it, it, it's, it's hard work. But, you know, you, you, the fruits from your labor, you know, start to show through. You know, look at Gary's place, uh, Fitness City. That place has been around forever because 
but that type of environment, you know what I mean? And that's, you know, that, you know, the real gyms, you know what I mean? We, we, we have real gyms. And I love it. Because listen, man, anytime, I, anytime I even, you know, think of using the term real gym, you know, I always make sure because I really, you know, I always try and compliment you because it's the greatest name for a gym. But I think one of the things that's so important that, that I always say about your place, your place, like just, it's, it's an extension of you. It, it's a, it's a big gym with that, um, small world mentality where you actually reach out and talk to every single member. You, a member comes in, you know their name. You think these people from these other gyms have any idea who the people are? You always stop and talk and help different people. They're always, you're always accessible. That's what I think that is, is such an uh, amazing thing that you can have the size of your gym and still maintain that friendly atmosphere. Real and, tops. So that, Yeah, it, it, it really it helps a lot. And even the people that that are part of my in, in, internal unit are the same way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, from Christine to Andrea, you know, right. uh, Joy, you know, the kids that work here, you know, um, you know, Jason, you know what I mean? All those right. people are an extension of that same environment. They're always helping, always inclusive, always, you know, you know, working that. Yeah, they always got your back, man. They're really good people. They're, they're good people, man. But that doesn't happen overnight. You know what I mean? No. That's what people understand. You know, I've known you for over 30 years. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you're instrumental and point me in the right direction. And, you know, here we are 30 years well, later. Listen, I'm proud of what you're doing now because you know, you're taking it to another level. You're using all the skills that you got from, that you learned from in the business world and the entertainment world. And, you know, you bring it to a different level. And I think, of course, we're very similar because you got that and I have the multimedia background. I know we could do some more with this. I just enjoy doing it. I love people that want to stretch and see what we could do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a good thing. Um, you know, you have to, whenever there's a bad situation or something that's perceived to be negative, you have to look at the positive because it's all perspective. My son is great for using that terminology, but it's always your perspective, how you view it, your, how you look at it. So you have to look at it, you know, I have to look at it. We have to look at it as this is an opportunity, you know, opportunity for change. Change is never um, bad. Change is always good because it means you're evolving. And you're never stuck. You're never stagnant. Stagnant water kills, you know, the horse. You know, when the horses walk through the desert, they don't want to eat that, uh, drink that stagnant water because we're filled with bacteria, right? You want flowing water. You want the river. You want, you know, um, ponds where it's raining and then evaporating. You want renewed. And that's what this is. This is a time for renewal. So, you know, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Like you're talking about all the time, but I've read the different Japanese stories where you talk about change. It's interpretation as your son, you know, you know, mentioned like that, like, there's a story about a gentleman that his um, his family his uh, son breaks his legs in in an accident with a with a horse, and then what happened was the next step was a group of Japanese soldiers came by and took all the young men and because uh, he was injured they couldn't take him, so a situation that the first you interpreted as a bad situation turned into a good situation because the kid saved his life, and so it is a matter how we you know we interpret these situations you know looking down it at it. Or looking up at it. When you look at it, it makes it too mighty and too big. You look down upon it, it seems small and, and inconsequential. So I think that's a, part of our perspective with this is going to make a big difference. A big difference. And so that's what I'm trying to do. And everybody that I'm involved with, I'm trying to look at it from a, a positive perspective. Even though it's a lot of hardship, and you can't minimize anybody's pain because there's a lot of pain out there. And you have to be cautious. You cannot take this uh, lightly. This oh. is something that, you know, I mean, this is with the movies, you know, you've seen it in the movies and now it's a reality. So, you know, I put my mask on. I have, um, uh, you know, the first thing I did is I went to my power place and we uh, mocked up the, you know, the, the face coverings because that's a new reality. And you'll never see me out in public without a face covering because what if I'm asymptomatic? I don't want to uh, affect somebody. I haven't even seen my mom. Um, you know, okay, her, yeah. see my mom, I talk to, I communicate with her every day, but I can't jeopardize infecting my mom if that was the oh case. They don't have testing out there. So we have to take over precautions and be over cautious, you know, at, at this time. It's just what it is, you know what I mean? It's an inconvenience. But what about, um, you know, the guys that have passed away? You know, I mean, my man Quad died, you know, Zulu died. You know, these are guys, but these um, guys from Norway, man, and it's crazy. You know, I heard that next, I, with, huh? Didn't he come to our place once? 
Uh, no, 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 none of these guys. No, not that. No, 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 no. You're thinking about no, no. You're thinking about somebody else. No, these are guys that I I grew up with. Uh, um, one's like a, a uncle. One's a, a, one of a, a peer of mine. You know, he he was a, a year or two older than me. Great, the, man. When I mean the coolest dude, yeah, I I I'd never seen him angry. I, I I try to think of back. You know, as us growing up as kids, I never seen him have a a fight or argument or beef with nobody. He's the coolest dude you ever want to meet in your life. And I looked on his Facebook and um, um, uh, after he passed and one of his last posts was, do you think they put this virus out there to hurt us? It was like, uh, you know, I just, oh, yeah. it was, it was crazy. And he's the funniest dude in the world. I'm like, I mean, he was, oh man. And, and it just breaks my heart that a guy like that, you know what I mean? And hits you out of nowhere. You don't expect that. You know what I mean? And then, you know, his uncle, you know, um, you know it's, it's just crazy how it has impacted my community. But on hindsight, we have to reflect on our diet. You know what I mean? We got to get away from the fried foods and the way we prepare our food. Might, might maybe move more closer to a plant-based diet. You know what I mean? Certain foods that, you know, are impacting our cardiovascular system. You know, we have to move away from those things. You know, we have to change our perspective on how we eat our traditional way of doing things, we have to change. You know, we have the physical fitness, we train hard, but you have to continue to train hard. Body right. training, you know, stay in the gym. This is showing people that being physically fit is, is you know, that your cardiovascular health, you know, you have to, you know, steady state cardio. You have to do metabolic conditioning. You have to do all of these things. You have to power lift to be structurally sound. All of these things prepare you for when, the unexpected happens, you are better. I'll tell you, Don, you do a nice combination. I can't, I can't believe that you could still do like a tuck and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, that's amazing athleticism because you do that. You can run, you can box. You really, you should have been a triathlete. What a pentathlete. Is that the correct name, term? Uh, Bruce, Bruce Jenner was my hero back in the day. You know what I mean? I, I, I love me some Bruce Jenner, man. He was the man. Right. <laughs> now he ain't wearing a dress, but, you know, God bless <laughs> No, I, I never would see I'm that. I'm Wheaties. I'm glad I need that. <laughs> Damn oh, my God. Well, he's neither here. That's all good. You know what I mean? God bless him. But, uh. He always be brutal. Man. So, what, um, I'm trying to think what we could plan for next time. Too bad we can't get, like, uh, get some people's emails or get them to contact us because if they have some questions for us, we could do it. Yeah, like, uh, we'll go live with it next time, um, you know, and, uh. I just want to make sure, you know, with no kinks and with, you know, this this is right. Well, it looks good. I'll tell you, your end looks really great, Tom. Yeah, too, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's nice know. and clear. Um, and as we learn this, I mean, like, I know that my um, my brother-in-law uses it for, he teaches at a, at a college, he's a professor, and there's so many different things you can add. You can add graphics, you can add videos, and so we can start throwing this stuff up to get interaction from people. Not name dropping, but I, I my, my man DC, you know, called me the other day. He's always checking in on me. You know, the chief. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, he he's one of my my OGs. And uh, who's that? Know, Listen, you know, I'm ignorant with this stuff. Who yeah, is it? We got uh, Dane Dash. You know, he's out in LA. He has his own uh, studio, and really? he's giving me a lot of information on how to you know bring my stuff you know to mainstream and all of that. And we were just kicking about a lot of things and. So I got a lot of new ideas and new directions that we're going to go in the future. You looking for any white guys for his videos or anything like that? Any kind of I mean, he has, he has good looking guys like me. Huh? Any good looking guys like me for a video for him or something? Yeah, yeah we're going to rock. <laughs> <laughs> we Batman and Robin, man. We rock it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But <laughs> like that those guys, you know, you know, I have tons of relationships, you know, and they all, you know, they all always they're trying to pull me back in. And, uh, you know, I always been, I wanted to raise my kids in a different type of environment. I know, Don, I know. And you're a hell of a dad, man. I say you're always there for your kids. It's a, you really do a great job. Mine are all, we're growing up now. So here's what I'm doing. I'm having, I'm having the fun I, you know, always wanted to right, do. Right. So that's what we're going to do. My wife was instrumental in that. She was like, no, you know, this part of our lives, we got to, you know, you, you, you got to get back. And she was right. Yeah, and she's I, always I, there, man. You guys go back forever. Yeah. You know, and, right. But listen, man, we'll we'll get that together for next time, then. All right, we we talk pretty much what we want to do is uh, we just got to stay in touch with the people, tell them what's going on as far as maybe things that are going to happen as far as opening up. I hope, 
right? But uh, in, in time, you know, it has to be done yep, the right way. Yep. They have to have the they have to have the testing. Yep. They have to make sure you know they got to get a vaccine in the in, 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 you know in the pipeline, and because you don't want it to resurge, you don't want it to right. uh, you know yeah we're, we're you know we're in a bad situation, but we have to make the best out of it. Right. But we don't want to put other people at risk. You know what I mean? So put on your exactly face, right. put your gloves on. If we do open up, you gotta have your mask and your gloves on when you hit the gym, just for safety precautions. You know what I mean? You you never wanna uh, impact anybody or your community the wrong way. You never, you know, you, there's guys, man. There's so many guys I know that pass away in the Bronx. It's crazy. Oh man, I know, man. Died, man. I mean, this this is the prime of your life, and then you know something like that take you out. It's not good. You know what I mean? So I mean, we have uh, we have one person in common. You know, my. My good friend Eddie Jermaine lost his dad, and I mean, like, oh my God. I lost. Man, did that break your heart? I mean, yeah, because yeah, Eddie, he, oh. he, he raised a great son, and he's just a great guy, man. So he's amazing. Uh, his and then when you read about his dad, what an amazing man he was, you know, and that, 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 I don't know, it's just it's heartbreaking, you know. And then yeah, a I, good friend of mine, his son recently passed, beautiful young man, you know, and. You know, you can't even have a a, a funeral or a prop. Right. You know, it, it's just it was real tough on the community, man, because they're they're big in the community. It's great family. They're always helping everybody. And you know, his son, man, it, it just it just breaks your heart that you know you can't. It, it, I, I don't know. It's just what it I, is. You know. I know that's why. I mean, we got a, as my uh, parents always used to say, and it's called Joao Vivra. You live every moment. We just got to do that, my friend. Every day you have to live. Every day. So. You can't take it for granted. And that's the thing, the key that everybody should take out of this. Don't look to, oh, woe was me, or what happened to me, or me, me, me. No, it's a we thing. It's about us. You know what I mean? Don't that's one of the things I really believe. Or at home, or your, you know, whatever you feel that, you know, and, and yeah, that's bad, or the kids feel. But I'm like, damn, just think about it as a, if it's an early vacation from school, you know what I mean? Or it's just how you, 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 you view it. But you're alive. You're healthy. You have nothing to complain about. There's people dying. People are sick. People on ventilators. That, you have not, if you're healthy and you're alive, you have absolutely nothing to complain well, about. We're one ahead of step in the game, bro. But listen, let's, um, I think we should cut it here. What do you think, right? Cool. And, uh, Donnie, we're going to do it again next week. And yeah. uh, I still want to come up and see you, but I know everybody's so locked down. You know, that's why. Yeah, we chill. We hit it like this. You know what uh, I mean? Like we said next fine. week. Uh, All right. keep safe, you know, keep the family safe. God bless your family. God bless your daughters, your your wife, your beautiful wife. Your and God, God bless to you and a dear friend that has been my friend for a long time. You and your family. I, You know, you, all right. I just want to thing Take as care. a community, as a country as a state, as the world. We're going to survive this thing, and we're going to be better for it, and we're going to move forward with a different perspective and always look at things, you know what I mean, from a positive perspective, you know? Always positive. All right, my brother. Till next time, all right? God bless. Take care, everybody.